And our second to last category, of course, is going to be a uh, video cam. It's the Flip Minnow. There's also the there's the Flip Minnow, the Flip Minnow HD, and the Flip Ultra. And, you know, there are those video cameras that are, like, that big, that wide. If you probably haven't heard of them, then you're probably new to YouTube or... Or you just haven't heard of them. I don't know. But they're really great. They're $200, I believe, which is reasonably priced. But I can't really, ex I can't remember the exact price. You could probably pick them up for cheaper. I had one way back, but it broke because I accidentally sent it through the wash. Because I had it in my pocket and accidentally put my pants, or it was in my sweatshirt pocket actually, and I actually put my sweatshirt in the washing machine, and it broke, and it can't turn on, so I got, so yeah, now I, I move on to better cameras that can fit a lens and stuff, because if you haven't already checked out my main channel, it's skateboarding, so I need a wide-angle lens, but coming back on track, the Flip Mono, it's a great portable camera for a YouTuber that's just starting out, and... Sorry for itching my nose, it's just itchy. It's a great video cam for a YouTuber just starting out. Or it's just a great family, a great like thing for a family to have. Because you can film your kids on vacation and like play it back on the TV or send it to relatives over Facebook or YouTube or email. And it's just awesome. Okay, and our last section is going to be video games. So let's start off with the consoles. I think that the two consoles that are going to be the most successful are the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. And, you know, there's the third biggest, which is the Wii, but come on, nobody has a Wii these days. I mean, that's for, like, that's for a pretty good console for, like, people, say, like, 10 and under, or, like, 11 and under. Sorry, got to adjust my camera there. But... Yeah, that, that's just going to be for the kids, pretty much, because most hardcore gamers like first-person shooters, which don't really work with their Wii controls, like such as Halo and Call of Duty or other Grand Theft Auto, stuff like that, just don't work with the controls, like you're flinging everything around and stuff. So we, no. PlayStation 3, it plays Blu-ray. Xbox 360, it just, they're just both great consoles, and I really don't know which is going to be more successful. I personally prefer the Xbox because I've never played a PlayStation before, but that's just me. And, yeah, so, and then we've got the Xbox 360 Connect versus the PlayStation Move. Now, these both are going to do really successfully. Um, oh, I keep moving my camera because I, st I, uh, I mess up the cord with my foot because it's charging and the cord's right next to me. So, <clears throat> the PlayStation Move, I think that Connect's going to be better because I haven't really seen the PlayStation Move advertising that much. It might just be me because I really don't know much about PlayStation, but I think it's going to be the um, Connect because I didn't even know about the Move until it came out. Like... But I knew about the Kinect, like, way back when they announced it. So, I th I think that the Kinect's going to be more successful. And next, we're going to move on to the actual games. So, I've got, um... These are two games that I think are going to do super successful. But I just am um, naming this off of the top of my head. Because I'm not really much of a gamer. I just play on my brother's Xbox. And, like, watch all the com COD commentators on YouTube because I think they're just awesome. So, these are, this is going to be really cliche, like, the two most popular games. But, Call of Duty Black Ops and Halo Reach. They're two first-person sh person shooters, and I just think those are going to be the most successful. In particularly, Call of Duty Black Ops because it came out just... Like, just over a month before Christmas, and Halo Reach came out, like, three months before Christmas, and people probably are, like, people are getting over Halo now, and focusing more on Black Ops, so, that's just me, and, yeah, so that concludes our video game section. Also, another first-person shooter that would be a great gift is the new Medal of Honor. Um, the name escapes me right now, it's Medal of Honor, Medal of Honor Tier 1, that's it. 
So yeah, that those are the three for first person shooters: Medal of Honor Tier One, Halo Reach, and Call of Duty Black Ops. So that concludes our concludes my 2010 holiday gift guide. If I missed a product that you would like to see me talk about or even review, leave it down in the comments and be sure to rate this video a thumbs up. Comment comment it and please subscribe to my channel and everybody have a fabulous Thanksgiving.